Check, 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 microphone check. Okay. Okay. Happy Father's Day. And welcome back, everybody, to the Johnny Guitar Channel. Boy. Boy, oh boy. We're going to be talking about No Man's Sky today, but we're also going to be talking about Starfield. Starfield, of course, the upcoming Elder Scroll. Um, No... Bethesda game. Starfield, the upcoming Bethesda game. All right. Okay, so as you can see, we are on the Pooping Bubbles planet. See that guy? That is a sentient bubble who is pooping. See him? Hilarious. Go to interact. Okay, I'm gonna extract some poop berries from him. Okay, I can't ride him, okay. Okay, let's get out of here, I've had enough. I've had enough of the bubbles. <clears throat> oh, am I in third person mode? Oh, shoot. I do not want to be in third person mode. Okay, how do I get out of third person mode? Let's see. So, um, I'm still, No Man's Sky is a pretty complicated game um, to me, I guess. It's complicated to me. What about camera? Okay. Flight controls, third person camera movement. Manual, follow. Okay, I like third person flight controls. Nope, normal flight controls. Field of view, camera height. Son of a gun. Oh, look, I could make my character left handed. That is interesting. Okay, it's got to be one of these. Red, take off. Oh my gosh, okay, well this is cool. I always forget that No Man's Sky has a really nice photo mode. Look at that, okay, that is pretty awesome. Good job, Hello Games. How do I take the picture? Move sun. Oh my gosh, I can move the sun? That's crazy. Crazy, how do I take, how do I take the shot though? How do I take... Oh, okay. Take a screenshot. Oh, I know that one. Okay, am I still broadcasting? Or did that ruin it? Okay, let's see. Sorry. Sorry, I think taking a screenshot interrupted the stream for a moment there. There we go. There we go. Okay. I much prefer this. Um, so No Man's Sky is... Uh, I haven't finished the main... mission yet. I'm not even sure what the main mission is. I'm not even sure what the main quest is in this game, but sometimes that doesn't matter because just kind of a beautiful, calm game. Okay. That is the anomaly. Isn't this... Isn't that the planet where my... Okay, I mean, I guess this is kind of a funky... Okay, so that's the bubble planet. I'm just on. I think what I'm doing here is I am... 
go here. No, that's not what I wanted. Okay. <clears throat> so, this is the planet I was just on. Okay. This must be the system. Cool, I could rename uh, the planets. Okay, so it looks like there's two planets that I still need to discover in this galaxy. Sorry, just, uh... Um, so yeah, I do really like in Starfield how I'm able to... take off from planets and land on planets. I think in, um, wait, I said No Man's Sky, right? I like in No Man's Sky how I'm able to uh, take off from planets, land directly onto planets. There's like no load screen. Nope, nope, that's not what I want. Is there, do I have a message coming in? Okay, so there is a space station there, but I'm confused. Is this my galaxy? Where's my base? You guys? Where's my base? I don't want to be attacked by pirates. I haven't played this game in about a month. Um, I may actually be in a different galaxy, but it doesn't matter because uh, we can teleport everybody. We can teleport around the galaxy. Okay, so let's head into the this guy. I'm so terrible at flying a ship in this game. Just so you guys know. So Starfield though, huh? I'm pretty excited for Starfield, in fact. I'm probably going to be playing so many hours of Starfield. I feel like um, I've heard that the game is expansive enough that it's going to be hundreds of hours of gameplay. Basically, if they're if they're trying to remake Skyrim, and maybe they didn't realize this when they initially made Skyrim, but the fact that we're all still playing Skyrim, I mean, maybe not all of us, but I still play Skyrim regularly, and I know many people who do. Um, <clears throat> And I think they're trying to uh, strike gold again with Starfield. They're going to make it so that the game can probably last for years and years with just like updates, Creation Club content. Um, and I'm excited for that. Okay, let's check my quest log. Let's see what mission we need to do. Okay, so if I'm doing this one. Increase your standing with the alien life forms. Okay, so this is the main mission so far. Alone admits the stars. Um, increase your standing with the alien life forms. So I think I've been attempting to do that by doing like little simple missions. Got it. The Atlas Pass. Reach the black hole. Oh, well that is all the way at the center of the galaxy. Oh wait, no, no, it's not the. Okay. I actually continue to help Artemis purchase technology blueprints or new base parts on board the. I I think we're gonna we're gonna go for the black hole today. I feel like that's the more more interesting quest that we can do. Um, especially because if I'm thinking about it. How many warp drives do I have? So I have... Shoot, I don't have any. Okay, well that may be a factor then. Um, normally I feel like I have... What, what do 
I do? Oh, the exosuit upgrade chart? Okay, I think that was on the poop planet I was on. Okay, well, I've got a bunch of antimatter housing. Can I craft antimatter? I can. Because we're going to need antimatter. There we go. We're going to need antimatter. Okay, which one of these can I get rid of? Probably the wheat grain. Okay, it's fine. This is fine. Let's teleport home. Let's teleport to my home planet. And then, um, let's go check out Johnny Spaceman's base. Johnny's camp. Okay, easy. Easy. Warp to Johnny's camp. And I like also how this is clearly like a loading screen. They're loading me into the camp, but um, they make it look like a warp hole. It's awesome. I hope everyone's having a uh, pleasant Father's Day, uh, however you want to celebrate that or spend your day. I hope you're having a good one. And if you're at work today, I hope you're getting holiday pay. I don't think Father's Day is like a time and a half or holiday pay situation, but I hope so. But yeah, so Starfield comes out in a couple months, um, but I'm so excited, I decided to pick up No Man's Sky again, and I gotta say, there's a lot of things I like about No Man's Sky. So, um, my character is not of note, I'm a pretty, I mean, there's not really levels, but if you want to, it takes a long time to get certain gear your character so in a way I'm a low level character but how do I I forget I forget how to do this So I do have a friend who's a high-level player in No Man's Sky. Um, you've probably met him on the uh, Johnny Guitar channel before, uh, General Poli Oli. I play a good amount of Fallout 76 with him, really good, really good player. Um, he built a bunch of this stuff for me. We were able to team up and he built me all these solar panels, he built me this little base here that has just a bunch of batteries in it. it it's got everything I can need. My original base, the one that I built, was just right here, snuggled right here, and all it really had was a couple solar panels and a teleporter. And otherwise it was just this cute little base. I've got a chair. Because what you do in No Man's Sky, everybody, is you get these upgrades. I think the game is has a lot to do with base building. Because um, what I've heard is finishing the main quest. Um, I don't know what any of this means sometimes. Input recovery pass key to proceed. I don't... How would I know what the pass key is? Recovered archive. Got it. Oh, do I have to guess? Okay, I guess I was just guessing buttons. I don't know what just happened. And what is an archive anyways? I glance back towards the wreck of my ship. Nothing more than a dot. Walking this plane for hours, yet the mountains seem no closer. I look up to the sky. 
Oh, okay. So because I downloaded that data, I got blueprints. And it's all about blueprints, everybody. Wait. What did that just say? Are you effing kidding me? Effing kidding me. I recovered blueprints, but because my inventory is full, the game decided not to give me said blueprints, which is like, okay, but does that mean I missed out on the blueprints? I don't know. Need some berries. Okay, so we gotta get rid of some stuff. Some of the stuff I'm okay having, like, what's that? Silicate? <sighs> Do I really care about that? Wire looming is good. Tritium. I think tritium can oxygen, condensed carbon, yeah. Star shield battery, portable energy storage, okay. Let's move that. Okay, apparently that's something I have to person. What about this? Uranium. Let's move uranium to the ship. How do I move stuff? Quick transfer. There we go. Hyperdrive. Let's see. Can I even install that? Wait, am I standing outside? I am standing outside. Crap, okay. Get inside the ship. Now, back in the day, you only got a couple inventory slots, and I hear that the game was just miserable, but nowadays it seems like we get more. Okay. So now that I have a little bit of free space, let's see if I can make... build any more or just the one just the one I think let's make some more antimatter and then let's craft more nice how much more antimatter oh we're gonna make so many warp cells so warp cells are what I'm going to use okay that's it that's all the warp cells we were able to make three it's not too bad Okay, so we just need condensed carbon. Life support gel. Yeah, see, a lot of this stuff. Let's get rid of the ferrite. Because that's just, you can get ferrite anywhere in the galaxy. Sodium nitrate. Transfer to the ship. Do you have a container storage? Let's just start sticking stuff in the container, actually. Thrust modules. What does that go into? Into the spaceship? Sweet. Okay, my spaceship is much, doing much better. What else do we got? Just move stuff into the spaceship. Go. Okay. Okay, I want to go and see if I can get those blueprints now. Okay, blueprint. Can I get them now? Exosuit technology. 
Got it, got it. What do I get? Personal upgrade module. Okay, so I guess I don't get it, but install an empty... Yeah, I, I don't get what's going on. Okay, that was exosuit. Was that an exosuit upgrade? What did I just get? Okay, suspicious package. Sure, I'll open that. I've got three suspicious packages. I bet General Polioli gave me these. Suspicious mining beam. I don't black market modification on the mining beam. Okay. Legal fine-tuned mining beam. Got it. So weird. Yeah, these must be things. Suspicious shield module. Okay. What does it do? Shield strength 27, core health plus 33%. Okay, that's not bad. It's illegal, but it's not bad. Can I install this? No, I think I already have one of those installed. Oh, the ship is out of range. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. So yeah, it seems like the point of this game on some level is just to... <clears throat> when you do different events, you get different things you can construct at your base, or you get different, like, skins for your character, and I feel like that's the whole point of this game. <clears throat> for instance, you first collect salvaged data. Up in the upper left corner you can see I have three salv salvaged data, meaning I can create a hazard protection unit if I wanted to. Obviously I still would need to craft the parts, required parts, in order to do it, but um, I could do that. I can also, you know, just unlock. These are just so I can unlock stuff. I really don't, I don't, I mean, to get salvage data, you have to fly around a planet and find these little salvage data, data modules. It's not like it's difficult to do. It's just time consuming. And so I just kind of don't care. You know, I just don't care. Okay, so as you can see, the sun has come out, and as a result, my solar panels are chugging along. What else do I got? I can call my starship. Um, oh, there's a nearby building, is there? Okay, let's take the... Um, roam her out for a bit of a ride. Cargo drop. So it looks like there's a cargo drop. Oh cool, look at this, like at the base of this, at the base of this obviously like asteroid impact area, there is, that hydrogen, awesome, okay. So yeah, I have the roamer courtesy of General Polio. Sorry. Oh, I have to. There's no scan. I assumed I could use my scan technology for my spacesuit, but <coughs> I guess I have to install it into the roamer. 
Camp Edelon. I don't see a camp around here. Anyone see a camp? Here there's a structure of some sort. Oh, is it over here? Pretty sure I've discovered this before. Haunted Terminal. Let's do it. Okay, I'll repair it by leave getting the goop out of there. Let's get rid of the goop. Um, returning user identity, terminal active, unlocking data log. The oceans here are blood. Nothing lives in them. They are alive themselves, great protein life forms as large as continents. Or perhaps there is only one of them. What does such a thing consume, I ask myself? The answer seems to be everything. I found evidence of past life here, but no signs of it. Does the native flora and fauna hibernate when it comes to eat them, then return and repopulate once it retreats? I can feel it moving inside my brain, whispering. It wants me to discard my suit and swim. Terrifying. I discover something coded deep inside the long dead traveler's data log. Okay, so that was just like a haunted data log I just read. Okay. Something has been left that will aid me on my own journey. What is it? Nanites? Yeah, I guess there's a history to... Th anyways, anyways, it's fine. Let's jump up here. low on ammo already. Oh, I just got rid of it. Okay, you biological horrors. Do this. Oh, ouch, ouch. How do I shield? was a mistake. Okay. Cool. Let's go back to our camp. What is there we go? This way. We will compass up above it here. Anyways, we'll go back to the camp. Why is Okay, what is there a star? <gasps> oh, these things are also quite valuable. They're like Okay, quickly, quickly grab them before any sentries come along. I don't navigational data. Navigational data is... I forget what good it is. I think it helps tell me about the galaxy map, the larger map of the stars. It helps me chart. I don't know what navigational data does, but I know it's rare, and I know I can sell it if I need to. 
So yeah, this game definitely has some fun crafting mechanics. Um, base building is pretty awesome, and I think that's because you can find a planet you really like. Like the particular planet I'm on now. Do I really like it? Eh, it's okay. It's just one of the first planets I uh, discovered. And uh, it's a decent planet, you know. Good resources, copper. You always want to uh, live on a planet that has copper. And, um, but yes, I've seen some YouTube videos where some people will live on planets that are like, another, what is, did I reach another camp? How is this possible? What camp are you talking about? Looking around, not seeing any kind of camp at all. You are mistaken, Jane. There is no chance around here. No, 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 good. Get out of the hole, Roamer. The Roamer's kind of weird to pilot. Got this. You got this, buddy. There you go. I think we have everything we need. What is that carbon plus symbol, though? I kind of want to check that, because if that's condensed carbon, I do like condensed carbon. Yeah. Mm, I think I like this planet, too, because there is not a... Sentinel presence and sentinels are pretty terrifying. They're like the AI police of the galaxy. They're pretty terrifying. Okay, get rid of that. What do I get? Nanite, nanite. So I think also in the last episode, with the help of General Polioli, I was able to get a new ship. A couple episodes back, actually. But yeah, if you can see, I've got a cool little ship. It looks pretty badass. You know what? Okay, now that I know how to switch back and forth, let's, let's go third person view. Maybe I'm better at flying in third person. We shall see. Okay, now before we go any further, I do want to see, am I in the same galaxy as the poop? No, this is a different galaxy, okay. There's just, so this is what I call Johnny's solar system. So I've discovered everything in the solar system. The only thing I haven't discovered is this far unknown planet. I don't know where that one is. So we're gonna keep Discovered that planet. What about this other one? Behind it. Otherwise, what other direction would I go? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I discovered this one. What is that? The space station. Discovered that planet. Yeah, it's got to be this one way back here. Oh shit, it says I did discover the moon. Okay, that's fine. Okay, so it says I did discover that. I discovered this moon. 
Oh, here we go. Here we go. What's this? And I discovered this one. There we go. Unknown planet. Last planet in my solar system. I gotta discover. Sweet. I'm excited. So yeah, we're gonna discover this planet real quick. Make sure I can set a base up. And then we're gonna go searching for that black hole. Because like I said, I've got three warp cells. That should be enough. So we'll see though. But once again, I think one of the reasons I'm not obsessively playing this game is that it's really fun for exploration, and it's fun if you just want to chill, but I'm telling you, sometimes I just don't get what the point is. Object of interest detected? Is that... Those guys? Are those guys the objects of interest? What are you talking about? Objects of interest detected. Asteroid? Okay, I don't want to just hang around space. If you just hang around, eventually space pirates will attack. And they are annoying. Okay, am I doing it? What's happening? And the fun thing about space is that if I run out of fuel to do my pulse drive, I can just shoot asteroids. Oh, this is going to be an ice planet. It's so far from the sun in our solar system. Awesome. It's icy and it's dark. And sometimes with planets like these, um, it's weird when you find outposts on them because why and how? But I do want to find at least one outpost to land next to because then I'll have discovered the planet. What is that? Copper? So this ship is kind of cool. My last ship was real clunky. In fact, let's take a moment. I want to see what kind of technology. Okay, so I got a pulse engine, launch thruster. Let me charge the launch thruster with some uranium. Okay, let's charge this with some tritium. And then my hyperdrive we will charge with a warp cell. Oh, look at this, I have a hyper core? Charge the hypercore? How does that work? Okay, my deflector shield is at 100. Nanite shield, and then the technology is 25% launch cost, 34 boost, 125% warp cell efficiency. Oh, that is useful. Okay, I'm, I'm trying to hit. I will receive damage if I hit structures, so I've got to be kind of careful. But you have to fly low to the ground in order to find. Um, because normally, like, you, you won't see a base up like that. You won't see it if you're too high up, because it won't go down. Oh, this looks cool. Okay. Let's try to land right there. Here we go. First contact, y'all. First contact. I keep see I'm kind of just sliding my character is always just kind of sliding that is hey buddy trader emits a strong flowery scent which quickly enters my exosuit system I feel overcome with nostalgia for a perfect place I've never visited I want to sing stupid friend magneto blah, 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 give friend trade for gift of okay 
Um, I love how, because I'm slowly learning their language, I know a couple of the words. Great. Okay, flushed with joy, I try to signal my thanks to the trader for his gift. I bet he's going to want pure ferrite. Snorts in satisfaction. Nice, a fair trade. Cool, and I increased my standing, which is the main mission, remember? I gotta increase my standing with all the alien races. And I find the Gex are the easiest, so... I know there's a way to turn off... third person view, but I just, for the life of me, forget how to do it. There we go. Okay, when you're indoors, check out the weapon terminal. Ooh, so I have... Is that 4 million credits or units? It's pretty cool. Um, let's compare this with my current one. I'm pretty sure my current one is going to be better. My current one is worth that. Oh, nope, this one is better. Um, but whatever, I don't care. I don't need new gear. Outside. That's the secretary I just spoke with. Can I learn a word from you before we go any further, buddy? You know what I think it is? I think I need to turn off the sensitivity in my controller. I think that's why I'm having a hard time with this, is because I need. Okay, Galactic Trade Terminal. Awesome. Let's go ahead and sell. I bet there's a bunch of stuff I want to sell. Not the wire looming. Um, yeah, let's sell those. Sure. Chromatic metal, no. See, a lot of the stuff I kind of really need. Species record? Okay, I guess I'll sell that. And see how underneath the weapon Underneath the item like this dihydro hydrogen jelly, it's demand plus 6.8. So there is a form of an economy going on here, meaning if I sell like a million of a single object, you know, I've got like a bunch of crystals. If I sell them, the demand will naturally go down. Technology merchant, huh? What do you sell? Blueprints, okay, blueprints and components. So this guy would be really good to buy. Let's check out your components. Okay, cool. So you have stuff that I can use to build up my base or repair my ship. Okay. I can't just go back to... Okay, whatever. Yep, best shop in the galaxy, I'm sure. Let's see what kind of blueprints you have. Okay, so notice how he wants to sell blueprints for nanites. And as far as nanites go, I've only got 1,600. Buy for 150? Well, why can't I? Is, oh, is this stuff I already own? Yeah, that's stuff I already own. Okay, so before we go, usually, there we go, over here. I want to claim this planet, and I can claim a planet, and by claiming a planet, I just want to discover a planet. Whoever does this first gets to be the one who discovers the planet forever. Okay, so this planet is discovered by Johnny Spaceman. Now, everyone who comes here is going to know that Johnny Spaceman was here. Okay. Well, I feel good. That means that um, we have successfully charted and discovered every planet in Johnny Spaceman's solar system. Good job, Johnny Spaceman. So now... Cool. We're just going to fly a little more around this ice planet just for a moment. I just want to see if there's anything else interesting. Probably not, 
but maybe. Otherwise, yeah, we're gonna then see if we can go to that black hole. So when the game first started and I created a base, I was really hesitant to warp to other galaxies and or other systems, we'll call it. I keep using the wrong terminology. Um, but I was really worried because I thought, well, if I ever want to return to my base, doesn't that mean I have to, you know, warp all the way back? And that was how it appeared to be in the beginning, but since then, they've added space stations and teleporters. So I can always teleport back to my base. What is that? Frozen tubers. Okay. Frozen tubers. Ground protection I forgot how I analyze stuff now. Put the shield. What's that? What's that? Oh, here we go. It's always a good idea to just analyze stuff whenever you're on a planet because you get units and credit, and I can do both. Okay. So I think like the, ooh, look at that big animal. So the current, the current galaxy or the current section of the galaxy I'm in is mostly Gek. But I hear that as you get closer to the center of the galaxy, you will see some of the other life forms. Um, Gek are those little lizard frog looking aliens that um, we've already seen. And then I think there's kind of these like brutish, bigger aliens. And then you have like AI. I'm sure we will see all of them at some point. Okay, this this isn't this isn't working. To get like third person view, it's just not as fun when you're inside a building. Um, but yeah, I think third person view is how I like this. So by repairing damaged uh, equipment or checking boxes, I can receive nanites. And with nanites, I can buy blueprints for my base. Um, otherwise, I need to do the thing where I find salvaged data. I think I do it through this copper. See, this um, this scan is telling me. There we go. There's one. Buried technology. Um, the buried technology will give me salvaged data. Salvaged data can be turned into abstract indiscretion. That's the name of my ship. Kind of cool. The abstract indiscretion. Anyway, so there's two ways to build up my camp, through nanites and buying blueprints, or through buried technology, salvage data, creating blueprints. Though I think I still have to buy blueprints if I want the special stuff, the weird, unique stuff. Okay, well, let's check out the galaxy map. Okay, is this red thing the black hole? No, that's not. Okay, where is the black hole that you guys 
Okay, so it looks like you could kind of tell, but it looks like I've actually visited three galaxies. The Nuzimob, Uajib, I mean, and by galaxies, once again, I mean solar systems. And it looks like I've gone all the way down to that one. I'm in the Euclid galaxy. Where is this black hole? Okay, destination black hole. Nope, destination black hole. How do I get to the black hole? I'm so confused. I don't know. I don't know how to get to the black hole. Okay, so I'm going for the Atlas path, right? They have marked a black hole for me on my map. Okay, this is definitely what I want. Okay, it's going to have this little symbol next to it, this little yellow tear. Okay, so let's go back here. Go back into the galaxy map. I'm looking for that same symbol, perhaps. Oh, you know what? I think the black hole is that purple swirly symbol down there. So we'll go here. And we're going to warp to the black hole. Or at least as close as we can get. Carson King! How you doing, buddy? Happy Father's Day. Best to you. Good time. Yeah, good time. Good time. Yeah, I'm just chilling. Um, I went to brunch today with a friend. I had an awesome BLT and a Bloody Mary, so I feel pretty good. Oh, you know what I'm excited for, Carson King? I'm excited tomorrow I'm going to go see the Flash movie. And I'm pretty excited. For oh, shit, here's the black hole, everybody. Reach the black hole in space. Use that. Okay. Okay, we're going into the black hole. I think this is the second black hole I've ever been in. It's gonna warp me pretty far. So black holes, you know how I have to use warp cells to warp from system to system. Black holes are like a free warp, and they actually send you further than a single system over. They may send you two systems over or three systems over. Um, so black holes are valuable. I don't have to use any resources to jump much further into the galaxy. Carson King, thank you. Yeah, I hope I enjoy it too. I am, um, I guess if you've ever listened, which you have, you've watched many of my live streams. Anyways, I'm a comic book nerd. I love comic books. DC, Marvel, indie comics. All of them. I love them. Karen, how you doing? How you doing? Uh, I'm doing good. I was just telling Carson that uh, I had brunch with a friend today. And uh, it was nice. It was quite nice. Distance traveled over a million light years. Black hole warp successful. Mission target is in another solar system. Find teleporters. Oh, Taryn, thank you very much. That always helps the uh, YouTube YouTube algorithm. Okay, so now visit the life form and locate yourself on the star chart. Okay, this is new. Otherwise, excited. Artemis has gathered records. Visit. Okay, awesome. So. A couple minutes ago when I was talking to that Gek, I think it was like 20 minutes ago, I increased my standing enough that I passed that. Now I have to visit the life form and locate myself on the star chart. Life forms in this system should be able to analyze Artemis chart pinpoint. Okay. Great. So it's not even... Okay, I'm just checking the 
star chart. This is my current location. Are they trying to tell me that my mission is... Oh my gosh, look at how far... How far did I go? Okay, I just want to see. How far... Wow, I jumped to a totally different part of the world. Okay, let's just let's just leave. Okay. All right. Well, we we there is a space station, but I want to at least discover this planet because we're going to claim this solar system for Johnny Spaceman. That's right, everybody. Johnny Spaceman is going to be in control of two solar systems, and everyone can just suck it. an ocean planet? Awesome it is. Ocean planets are cool. Now, um, I haven't really purchased any of the technology for it, but there are ways to make underground or underwater bases. I've seen some YouTube videos on it and they're awesome look. Um, in fact, I've seen, you know, I've seen a lot of really cool bases people will build up because there's you know no other players around to compete with for space um you can build a base that is just giant you know you can basically build your own city which i find interesting okay so already we have found sweet like it's um, kind of an ice planet as well. There's contact. That's right, everybody. Johnny owns this planet. Quick, quick, quick. Yeah, so No Man's Sky is a pretty good game, but I'm wondering... Starfield is going to have procedurally generated planets. And, um... No Man's Sky has procedurally generated planets, and what ends up happening is... The planets do kind of look alike, like you'll end up going to planets and seeing a lot of the same type of stuff. And I wonder if Starfield is going to be similar, or if they... I mean, I know it's a different art style, right? It's a totally, it's a totally different art style, but... You know, I think No Man's Sky, at least the planets have a little bit of diversity to them. You know what game really annoyed me with the planets? It was The Outer Worlds by Obsidian. I don't know if you guys ever played The Outer Worlds, but that game... All of the planets look the same, and all of the creatures on each planet was basically, it was the same creature, the same type of creature, manta cores. They were just like reskinned different colors on each planet, like you'd have purple ones or green ones, but it was all the same creatures. And then, of course, all of the enemies in the Outer Worlds all looked alike as well, so... Not impressed with that game, I shall say. In comparison, No Man's Sky is much better. Oh, look at this! It's a... Uh, I've never seen a bug person before. Okay. Let's meet our first um, bug person. What are you, a traveling hero? I approach the lost traveler. Their skin is translucent as if they were not truly there. Okay. <clears throat> Unexpected. Hello, my new friend. What business would you have with me? 
So the reason I can fully understand this particular character is because I do have a translator on me. And the translator works for anyone who's been to the Anomaly, which is the mystical space station. So I think that's why I can talk to this guy, but I couldn't understand the other life form I ran into. The life form tries to shake my hand, but pauses as we phase through one another. They are fascinated by the encounter, claiming to be a traveler. It is clear they come from a very different region of space. They have never heard of Gek, Viking, or Corvax, or any of the sites I have encountered. They wish to know more in the spirit of cooperation. Awesome. So the Gek, Viking, and Corvax are the three main races I run into. I'm just going to tell them everything. Here you go, buddy. Here's all the information I have. I tell the traveler about the species I have encountered, sharing with them my scans, the names of planets that I've been to, and the words I have learned. And remember, traveler, those planets belong to Johnny Spaceman. You need to give me 1,000 nanites any time you touch down on one of my planets. They are curious, asking more and more. Nothing I say satisfies them. Eventually disappointed, they grow quiet. They hand me a gift, thanking me for what little I was able to tell them. Glowing mineral. Thank you for the glowing mineral. Got another technology merchant. Okay, okay, pretty cool. Ooh, look, there's another ship. Now, I don't think it's a player, I think it's an NPC. Yeah, it's an NPC. Let's go talk to him, though. Let's go talk to him and see what's up. Can I? A lot of times you can buy the ship from them. Buy it or... Can I just jump in it and steal it? No, I can't. Okay, buddy. Hello, good sir. Welcome to uh, Planet Johnny. So this guy is one of the Corvax. He's actually a AI. He's like a built robot. Um... I don't... I'm just going to offer to trade, I guess. I don't really want to... Okay, obviously... Ooh, he's selling a lot of upgrades. Once again, I've got over... I've got 1,700 nanites, so I could buy some of these. Oh, and they're suspicious, meaning they're probably black market, I guess. Okay, I don't actually need any of that, though. Thank you, though. Let's sell... Um, how do, I, do I have 92 ion batteries? That's crazy. Crazy. I'm going to go ahead and sell you. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with these ion batteries, so I'm going to go ahead and sell you 65 of them. Okay. Ooh, he does pay a lot for salvage data. I don't know why I need money in this game. I have... No, I don't need... I have four million units. What am I going to do with the money, huh? What do I need money for? That's another thing, right? I don't know why I'm, I need money in this game. I mean, I know why you need it initially. I guess if I want to keep upgrading my spaceship, buying new spaceships, And once again, the creatures are procedurally generated. So, oh, look at how weird this creature looks. Look at it. It's got the head of a snail, the body of a striped... Oh, and he can phase through solid objects. Okay. Hey, buddy. Oh, I don't have any pellets. Okay, well... You do you, buddy. I don't think I have the ability to swim underwater. Let's see. My jetpack works underwater. That's awesome. Oh, cool. Underwater like fish. Suck 
Supplementary oxygen enabled. I like how there's a sheen on the screen when I get out of the water as if I'm not in third person mode. Okay, let's go ahead and recharge my life support. Is that oxygen? No. Charge. That's hazard protection. That's jetpack. Where is my life support? Carbon purifier. There we go. Life support. Charge it with oxygen or I have life support gel. Let's do oxygen for now. Oh, are you a slightly different type of species? Your face looks different than the last one. Ooh, what's that? A tall, weird-looking creature. Where'd it go? Where are all these creatures coming from? Okay, first off, there's no way that you're walking on your hind legs like that. It's just... I swear there was a tall, slender man creature. Where did that guy go? Must be going crazy, space crazy. So yeah, anyways, I'm excited for Starfield. Is anyone else going to be playing Starfield? Carson King, I don't know if you're still on here. You've got an Xbox though, right? That means you'll be able to play. I also have an Xbox. It's hard to make YouTube videos on your Xbox. It just, Xbox is, it's just not as easy to live stream or make. But you can Twitch. So the moment Starfield is released, I'm probably going to be making less YouTube videos for the Johnny Guitar channel. I know that's terrible because we love the channel. But um, I think, you know, anytime I'm playing Starfield, which will probably be a lot because it seems like it's going to be an awesome game, anytime I'm playing Starfield, I will definitely be streaming on Twitch. So, uh, you know, you guys can still join in on the conversation, uh, watch me play Starfield. But um, I'll, I'll also continue playing the classic games I love to play, like Skyrim and Fallout 4. So there'll still be plenty of content here on YouTube. You know, I don't know if Carson... Uh, I don't know if they've announced whether it's going to be multiplayer or not. That's a good question. Um, I know it's not going to be like an open world, like Fallout 70, like where there's multiple players, but I believe it might be co-op. Is this the same place I was just at? Better not be. If it's co-op though, definitely. I'm really excited for Starfield because I've been getting more and more into classic RPGs. Now, I know that Starfield's not going to be a classic RPG, but I feel like there's going to be a lot of RPG elements. Um, lately, I've been playing the early Fallout games, Fallout 1 and Fallout 2. Cool, I learned the Corvax word. Um, and I really like the old school RPG elements of building your character, making your character uh, unique, having traits for your character, and traits are usually there's a little bit of positive, a little bit of negative to your trait, um, which is always an interesting play off to do. Um, and then building your character the way you want it. Usually with my Johnny characters, I like to make them charismatic rogue types, you know. Save and charge. 
We're gonna go check out this cave. Oh, I've got a dog here that's staring at me. I have a dog staring at me, everyone. I'm having a hard time navigating this cave. Cobalt! Have I collected cobalt before? I don't know what I do with cobalt. Okay, okay, let's get back in the ship. So yes, what I can do is... Where is my ship, you guys? Go to the space station, everybody. Looks like it's on the other side of that planet. I'm not sure, but let's try to go to the space station. Because yes, once again, I can go to the space station, and even though I'm on the far side of the galaxy from where my base is, I can always teleport right back to my base. It is a pretty good mechanic they build here. And I think my ship looks cool. It kind of has like a Star Wars design to it, which I like. Um, it's a smaller ship, which, you know, I guess it doesn't matter either way. Oh, oh, oh. Style ship. Okay, what do you guys think? Should we get in a fight? Let's get in a fight with these hostile ships. And it's okay. I'm terrible at fighting, but it's okay because before I die, I'll just quickly go inside of the uh, space station here for safety. Right, right. Okay, there we go. There's the entrance to the space station. Where are Sentinel interceptors? Okay, where are you guys at? So effing terrible at fighting. Okay, is that it? Are you the bad guy? Okay. So apparently he has like a little dot in front of him. That's where I need to fire my weapon. It's a dot, not anything. How does this... How do I barrel roll? There's gotta be a way to barrel roll. Great music. Oh, that is another thing. No Man's Sky has pretty decent music. Okay, this is not the the other way. I don't know how people fight in space. I am terrible at it. I don't even like what is happening. There's gotta be a way where I can like barrel roll or like do like a quick loop to loop and turn around. I'm just not. Okay, screw you. Screw you, buddy. Maybe he gave up. Did you give up? No. See, look at this. I can't even... I can't even keep up. He's like right outside. Okay, so now quickly turn around. No. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. Okay, escape is possible. Huh? Yeah. Escape. Escape into the space station. Go, go. Yeah, I don't know. Um, when I was playing the game earlier, um, like a month ago, with General Poli Oli, my friend from Fallout 76, he was actually pretty decent at killing pirates. Um, he had a ship 
that could turn on a dime. I put, you know, he bought a specific ship for fighting, and it he had a lot more kind of control and handle over his ship, and he was able to kill enemies. Not me. Okay, let's learn a couple words while we're here. Well, cool, I know the word for carapace. Okay, carapace? A soft whirling sound emanates from this Corvax. They appear to be examining their own physical, physical carapace, outputting a complicated log of diagnostics and calculations. The Corvax reaches out towards me, indicating they wish to examine the arm of my exosuit. Okay, I'm going to request dialect help, which will they'll teach me a single word. Research... They present a symbol. Let's do the friendship symbol. Okay, I've learned the word for require. So I can go up to every single one of these Corvex guys and learn a single word. Okay, he's scanning me. I'm gonna request help. And let's do this time a technology symbol. So yeah, basically I can just continue learning everything until I have most of the words of their language learned, and then from that point, I can actually understand what they're trying to tell me. And like I said, there's three major races in the game, so you gotta do this with every race if you want to be able to communicate with them properly, which I do. Now I can practice skills if I want instead, so I don't have a lot of words, but I'm just going to say the word knowledge to them and see how he responds. Korvac sings a delighted song, the word obviously touches upon a subject they favor. They offer me a module that appears to be homemade technology. Okay. Cool. So what I get? I got a Starship Shield module. Okay, so if I if I would have guessed, I guess the word technology, but if I would have guessed a different word, it's possible I would not have gotten a gift. Diplomat. No. Fifty aliens. All right, Carson. No problem. No problem, no, my friend. Let's talk to this guy. Okay, I'm definitely, definitely picking up a lot of good words from this guy. The Corvax makes a series of swift entries on their data pad. Okay, teach me a word, please. Teach me a word. <clears throat> um, let's do trade symbol. Oh, the word for trade, literally. Okay. So this dude is not a Corvax. This is one of the Viking. You know, I said they were kind of larger, more brutish. Um, yeah, they're kind of aggressive too, a little bit. The warrior grunts distractedly, not giving me their full attention. They seem preoccupied by the small device they are holding. Okay, so he's a warrior. Let's request help. And from him, I want to learn a Viking symbol. Teach me more about. Okay, the word for warrior. Awesome. Okay, let's see what else they got here at this hub. Looks like they have a door. They've got a galactic trade terminal. They've got. Who are you and what do you do? That's a mission agent, so I could take missions. And as I take missions for them, I would then gain reputation increase from their faction. It's an envoy. It's a cartographer. He can teach me about interesting things in the galaxy. And this is a Gek. Captain Regi. Friend. I am a friend. Bye. Do not peck us. Will... The trader appears to be under the influence of some exotic matter. They blink at me slowly, open to barter. 
I'm gonna go ahead and give him a Gek Relic. Captain accepts my gift. Cute. And it gave me standing increase with the Gek. Awesome. I'm also going to request a word from you. Please teach me a word. Let's do mystery symbol. Okay. Okay, you guys have been amazing. Um, let us... So if I'm looking at Alone Admits the Stars, visit the life form and locate yourself on the star chart. So, because we went into the black hole, pretty sure that I need to teleport back to the original galaxy I was in. Because that is, which would be the same one as Johnny's camp. Okay, that's Nuzub. That's Iwiju. And this is the current one I'm in, I think. Complicated. Okay, I think this is the one I want to go to. Yeah, let's warp. Let's do a little bit of a warp, everybody. So these are all the Gex. So I think that red symbol is the main mission I'm trying to do, right? Potential assistance. Yep, that's it. Okay. Crap. Okay, I gotta recharge. Gotta recharge my pulse engine. Pulse engine, tritium. Okay. Well, I'm excited for this because I am pretty curious about what the heck the main mission is about. I've got an idea, I've got an inkling. Because when I first play the game, you kind of appear... It's, it's as if you have amnesia. You appear crashed on a planet with amnesia. And I feel like you're slowly putting together information about who you are and who, who you are hanging out with. You were like part of a group before you crashed your guy amnesia. That's, a, that's as much as I've been able to gather so far. Oh, oh, crap. Crap, I really botched that one. Oh, come on. Really botched that one. I have never been to this PlayStation. PlayStation, I think I'm at Space Station. There we go. Okay, let's talk to this dude, because apparently I'm supposed to? 
As I approach the life form, their beak begins to click, a strange gas issuing forth. It is unclear if Artemis translator is working. Okay, I think I'm gonna... I don't know if I should resist the gas. I'm gonna ask for information. The life form shakes their head, disappointed in me. Oh, what? I should have resisted the gas. I try to resist smelling their gas, but the odor permeates my exosuit vents. Even my life support system, I am filled with an overwhelming desire to purchase things. I'm going to offer you units for information. I literally have over 4 million units, so take them. I offer units to the Gek, repeating my request for information. The Gek smiles and gas receding. They appear to have found the entire exchange amusing. In exchange for this amusement, they offer to decode the star chart for free. Okay. Strange behavior for first greeting friend. Trade Federation please to establish a new customer. Friend, please pass me the data for examination. I ask the life form to decode the star chart and provide the route to Artemis location. Your data appears to be fabricated, friend, or possibly corrupted. No such location exists. I'm pretty sure it exists, buddy. The Gek is offended by the suggestion that they made a mistake. They say they will give me a low rating on the Trade Federation database for my impertinence. I apologize and leave. Return to the space... Okay. Well, before we return to space, I should probably... Check out... This seems to be like a waiting room for... People traveling, what else? I'm trying to get some distance so I can see. Yeah, it definitely seems like it's just a classic space port. Okay, and if I'm looking at the ground, I'm not seeing anything. space to bring news to Artemis. Local life forms were unable to verify her location. Okay, am I going in any space? What's happening? Okay. Incoming message. There we go. There you are. So she's kind of like the other traveler I saw who's glowing also a hologram or are they just like in a different anyways I found high ground I think when you arrive I'll fire my multi-tool into the air to mark my location what's wrong why aren't you saying anything um nobody knows where you're at I tell Artemis the locals could not decipher their star chart the alien even went so far as to claim those stars do not exist that's impossible. I can't have traveled that far from charted space. You found my ship. Yeah, how'd you get there? As I speak, the line begins to crackle with interference. Artemis looks up at the stars in panic. Oh. Uh, the stars, they've altered since I made that chart. Blinked out in... Oh, so she's in a weird part of the galaxy. How is this possible? What's happening to me? I need to get out of here. I need to... It's quiet at first, but it is there. Unmistakable, growing steadily louder with each passing moment. A sound beneath their words, a sound as if glass could scream. I'm just going to comfort her, because you are so far away, Artemis. There's literally nothing I can do to save your life. So I'm just going to comfort... I try to comfort her, but my words feel strangely hollow. I can do nothing. Artemis speaks to me again. I discovered the glyphs for a portal, Traveler. A gateway between worlds. I thought it would lead me to another of our kind, but now I don't even know if the voice was real. Okay, I'm clearly being attacked right now. 
The pathway collapsed while I was still inside. I found this place in the darkness. I thought perhaps it was a planet. I was so wrong. I... I can see their faces. I... There are seeds of glass within there. Okay, she is clearly in some sort of alien temple. They're gone. My data fragmented in the... I just wanted to discover worlds. I wanted to find other travelers. I didn't... 16. Warn your face. It... Please. Not yet. I'm not... The signal cuts off. As it crackles into oblivion, I hear the name through the static, Apollo. Okay, I'm gonna register my ID with Apollo. The frequency for Apollo has been added to my Hollow Terminus contacts. Okay, I don't know what that means though. Bring news of Artemis signal loss to Nada. Okay, I can do that. All we need to do is summon the space... Oh no, okay, so I can summon... This is the mysterious space place. And I can summon this anywhere. And they also have teleporters on the inside, so... Or do they have teleporters? I'm not sure. This is cool, though, because this... this space station I'm going to exist outside of time and space, meaning this is the one guaranteed place where I can meet other players of the game, or fellow travelers, as we call ourselves, um, but this is like a hub area, so yes, it is really cool, and um, if I wanted to, I could run a little, a little glitchy right now. The game may crash. It's possible the game may crash. There's a lot of players in here. What? What is happening? Okay, so these are all other players. Do I have any emotes? Let's do an emote just so everybody knows. Oh, that's a new player. You can tell from here. Let's see what kind of emotes I can do. Gestures. They're called gestures, you guys. Do a thumbs up. Hey, thumbs up, everybody. Let's do a... This is good, too, because I found that a lot of the other players in No Man's Sky, sometimes you can see what they type. Um, they do not speak the same language as me. So, I think sometimes the gestures are kind of fun. I can still kind of communicate with people. Horny Desperado. Okay, Vault 21 Johnny. That is me. I am Vault 21 Johnny. What's this player's name? Omelet Dreamer. That's a cool name. Oh, um... Carson King, I'm currently playing on my uh, PlayStation. And I don't know if No Man's Sky is um, cross-platform. I don't think so, buddy. Okay, what have you learned, Traveler? What generates Artemis Entity's signal? Mention the portal. I tell Nada how we failed to understand Artemis's location. I explain their strange messages, Apollo and the portal glyph. Nada par pauses, their lights blink as they process this information. Artemis slips between worlds into the data fall. Our home lives in these spaces, but these holes are stable, small. Nada is worried, traveler. Cracks between the iteration should not widen. It will not help us. Artemis entity entity does not still does not remember Nada. Okay. Um. Yeah, I don't think so, buddy. This is a puzzle, a trap, a tragedy. Apollo entity is unknown to Nada. More puzzling still. I'm I'm actually pretty interested to find out where Artemis went because it sounds like she went through a portal and ended up in some sort of weird temple and that there are creatures around her. So like something mysterious and terrifying is happening to her. If Traveler Entity is curious, Nada has advice. Okay, give me advice, Nada. The Rampant Crimson is the work of Atlas Falsity. Other Korvax say Deity. Nada knows better. 
Atlas false entity hunts Nada, but Traveler may seek them out, draw them away. Search for Artemis and Apollo. Polo holds coordinates for black holes and Atlas stations. Okay, let's check out what that means. Locate and activate a hollow terminus. Something terrible has happened to Artemis. Their signal was cut off. Before they went, they managed to transmit the frequency for some. I do not know if this... Okay, locate and activate a hollow terminus. Okay, there's this one. Search for Artemis and the mysterious Apollo by purchasing new base parts aboard. Undertake missions with other travelers. Okay. Interesting. Let's just check these. Okay, so those are just stuff. Okay, those are not important. I think I like Ghosts in the Machine. Is there a hollow terminus here within the anomaly? Locate and activate a hollow terminus. Return to space to search for Apollo. Frequency Apollo was the final transit. Okay, got it, got it. Return to my spaceship. So anyways, right, can I fly? Awesome. Starfield is going to be an Xbox exclusive, so I'm definitely going to be playing it on Xbox. I currently have an Xbox One. I can't really afford it, but I should probably upgrade and get an Xbox, um, you know, Xbox X, Xbox Series X. Anyways, I should probably just spend the money and upgrade my Xbox. But, and this is um, something else I'll be doing on Xbox, I'll probably start playing Fallout 76 on the Xbox as well. Carson, if you're still listening, that's for you, buddy, because um, I know you wanted to play Fallout 76 on me. And the reason I'm doing that is because I believe that as they start upgrading Fallout 76, some of the newest DLC may be exclusive to... Um, Xbox, meaning on the PlayStation I won't be able to get the latest Fallout 76 DLC. That's what I suspect is going to happen, so I'm probably just going to download Fallout 76 for my Xbox. Not what I wanted to do, that's not what I wanted. Okay, there is a hollow terminus. Sweet. This is good. <clears throat> yeah, the in the beginning of this game, things can be a little difficult because you have to figure out like how to farm for resources. Um, well, is No Man's Sky cross-platform? Is that is that what you discovered, Carson King? Oh, going too fast. Going way too fast. Okay, okay I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Okay. So, it says, oh, is this where I'm supposed to land? It wants me to land over here, but I'm telling you, okay, whatever, I'll land wherever you want. I can tell that the terminal is going to be at the space station behind me, though. Yeah, I don't know either. That's a good question. Some games are cross-platform. I do know that, like, Fallout 76 is not. I feel like some games are. Okay, what am I looking for? A terminus? Yeah, it's 
clearly going to be this thing over here. Condensed carbon. I like this with condensed carbon. Looks like the um, terminal I'm looking for is on top of this place. All airship. Okay. What do I need? I need a navigation data required. Okay, start climbing this platform. I love to um, how you can have cakes in this game. I just oh, oh god, okay, this is not. This actually happens to me a lot. Let me see. My laptop isn't working that well right now. It's having issues. Let me see if I can Google it. Yeah, my lap the keyboard of my laptop is having issues. It's only working as a touch screen. No Man's Sky cross-platform co-op. Answered yes. No Man's Sky supports cross-platform multiplayer, so you can play with friends regardless of which platform they use. No Man's Sky has been this way since launch. Now, how do you play No Man's Sky with friends on peace on... Yeah, as far as I can tell. It seems like No Man's Sky can be played cross-platform. That's good. Have you um, done... You said you're reinstalling it, meaning you have played it before. You any good? Okay. Let's uh, have a moment with this holographic comms tower. Holo terminus activated, multiple signals. The tower hosts a powerful transmitter designed to facilitate holographic communication across long distances. Tune to Apollo. <laughs> oh, there he is. There's Apollo. I mean, as you can see, Carson King, the game has become much cooler. Oh, there's a mosquito in my house. Oh, it's one of those big scary ones. Okay, okay whatever. Apollo. Apollo, you are an interesting looking creature. The transmission is silent, the stranger just stares at me. Okay. Hello, my name is Johnny Spaceman. Identify yourself or I end this call. Okay. I am Johnny Spaceman. I'm a friend of Artemis. No, you're not. Okay, well, why do you say that? I love your scarf, by the way. Why do you use that word at all? Friend, it's just a label, a pretense to make you feel better about being alone. Why are you contacting me anyways? Is Artemis behind this? I haven't changed my mind. I don't care about their weird dreams. I'll meet if I'm paid to meet. This game also has a lot of... um. A lot of the theme of this game is being alone in the galaxy and trying to find friends and what constitutes a friend. It's kind of this overall theme of the game, which is interesting to me. Even this conversation is a waste of valuable time. Okay, well, Artemis is in trouble, Apollo, a triangle-headed jerk. 
I tell Apollo that Apollos, uh, Artemis is in trouble, that they attempted to use a portal and became stranded on some distant and uncharted world, disappearing from the network. Apollo's demeanor changes. They appear uncomfortable at the news. Send me your data logs. Let me see this for myself. Okay, let's upload a log. I don't mind. Apollo studies the log, pauses and replaying the various segments of static and distortions. They turn to me with a glow of excitement. These noises, they sound just like the echoes of sentinel events. You've seen them before, of course, drones that appear from nowhere if you interfere with their precious planets. But this data, it's distorted, inverted. There's a lot to gain if we figure out how the sentinels appear so quickly. And this, the portals, perhaps they're the key. Okay, I agree with you. I agree with you. The sentinels are clearly using teleportation technology. So what do you say? Do you want to work together on this one? Be partners? Yes. If you're going to work with me, we need to expand your base of operations. I'll send you a contact of mine. They'll supply you with what you need. Just remember to be polite. As the hologram recedes, Apollo's head turns to the side ever so slightly as if sighing, saddened. Or perhaps it was nothing, a ghost in the machine. Okay, so I have a feeling, I have a feeling that the game is going to want me to build more. Yeah, it says to expand my base. I bet they're going to... See, I told you this game is all about crafting and base building. Even the main mission is like trying to get me to build my base, you know. My base is already awesome looking. I don't need to build my base bigger. The game wants me to have a bigger and cooler base. And that's fine. There's probably some like technological piece of technology that I need to equip. Something like that. Ooh, okay. Okay, so Carson King, I actually have to go right now just for a little bit. I have to take my dog into a daycare situation. Um, so I'm going to have to be getting off for a little bit. Unless you're jumping on right... Well, I got to take, take my dog into the daycare just for a little bit. There's the groomer. The groomer has to do a nail trim for me. Um, but yeah, I think I think um, we'll be able to play together. I know that on the Xbox network, your name is Dope Mailman. Is that correct? I think it is. So I have the hardest time telling where I'm supposed to go. Like, are you trying to send me to a different galaxy, or what's going on here? Okay, those are too far. Yeah, I don't know what's going on here. I don't know what's going on. Let's just, just get out of this. Get out of this. Okay, I think I need to land on this part. Can I save from here? Let's see. Do I have the option to save the game? Do I just quit? My last save was 15 seconds ago. Okay, awesome. Um, okay, cool. Yeah, um, Carson, I'll keep an eye out for you in No Man's Sky. I'm definitely going to be playing because I think Starfield doesn't come out for a month or two. So, um... Oh, nice, nice. Okay, buddy. Thanks for joining me here on this journey. Thanks for watching the Johnny Guitar channel. See you guys later.